Hello, welcome back. In our last video, we seen how we extend the capability of Selenium IDE and we use Selenium toolkits like Selenium Remote Control to solve the problem. And also, we told there is another way to do, and especially if you are doing some new project and there is a much more cleaner set of APIs available in Thumbs Up Web Driver. And this is how the Selenium RC uh, architecture that we have a client and this client is basically sending the commands to a remote control server and for the first time the command comes as open the browser the remote control server inject this selenium core which is a basically a javascript functions to this to the browser and for all whatever different browsers but still the selenium cores are remain same so those things are basically bundled with this remote control server the first time it sends those things and using this piece of code it does the automation so so when consequently I'm going to give the commands like click and all those things so those things will go to remote server a remote control server just a proxy sending to the selenium core and selenium core is going to execute those things inside that web browser so this is how it was done in selenium RC all the browser we have this JavaScript functions and these JavaScript function are key to automate that browser so all the modern browsers like take an example of this Firefox browser so this Firefox browser does have its own way to automate it okay and that is called default automation features inside the browser okay and in case of Firefox is done through a plugin similarly if you take the Internet Explorer okay so the Internet Explorer supports browser automation using some sort of DLL okay similarly if you take the example of Chrome so this is the Internet Explorer so Chrome also supports its own automation using Chrome driver okay so essentially whatever the selenium core that that same kind of work can be done using this thing either a plugin or a DLL or a driver web driver can drive this kind of browser using the browsers internal automation support okay so this web driver is divided into multiple sub drivers like you know web driver is the best thing and then if you are driving a Firefox you will need a driver called Firefox okay so what this Firefox driver is going to do the Firefox driver if you write the web the client using Firefox driver then it is going to launch a Firefox browser and whatever the the commands that you are going to sell in its commands you are going to give those things are going to be executed on this Firefox browser using the default plugins available in that Firefox browser similarly if you want to you if you want to write a client using internet IE driver which is Internet Explorer driver in that case it will launch a Internet Explorer driver and using the DLL it will control the automation similarly if you write a Chrome driver so the client is going to drive a Chrome browser using the Chrome driver that is available so one more thing is called HTML unit driver so HTML unit is a kind of browser but that browser won't show you any graphical user interface it will do all those things like you know if you want to go send a request then it will, it, will, it, will, it will go to the server and then get that response back but it's just that it's not going to show you there and this is written in a Java book okay we have one more thing called HTML unit okay so here is a key difference between the RC RC used to have a remote control server that is not required here there is no proxy required here you can directly drive okay however all this thing should be remain in one machine in case for whatever reason you want to have your machine one let's say this is the machine one in machine one you run your client that implements a particular driver then your actual browser is running on machine 2 they are separate physically in that case what you need you need selenium server okay so in that case from the client you send request to selenium server and selenium server is going to 
execute the browser on the uh, on the machine. And then in that case, so both of them will be in the same machine. That is machine M2. Okay. So this is what is all these things about the web driver and web driver is the de facto way to go from now okay so what we're going to do in the next set of videos we're going to set up web driver we'll set up remote control and we're just going to do our very fast program you will write our very fast client okay and we'll we'll try to do as much as combinations possible so that you'll, you'll get a hang of how things work